Hello, my name is Adelaide Kisinda. I'm from Tanzania. I'm an economist and researcher. I think the current um, Russia-Ukraine situation that is going on, it has, it has come um, at a point where the world is in a very complex situation because it had just, um, just been recovering from the effects of um, COVID-19 as well as the um, extreme events of climate change. So the world was just um, getting to, you know, to recover from all these effects. But um, this also does not only affect maybe, uh, does not only affect Russia or, or Ukraine, but I think the effects come all the way even to the African countries, where, whereby we have been having this uh, long-term relationship with both countries and we have been importing food materials, specifically grains from both Russia and Ukraine. So Africa has already started experiencing uh, price shocks to some of the commodities which are mainly um, being imported in these two countries, for instance, um, grain, sunflower and wheat and so many other factors. So um, this, um, personally, I would say that we believe that it's a temporary situation and that diplomacy will take its second chance so that um, situation, um, that the two countries would sit around table um, to resolve these issues and, and that the, you know, the situation will be back to normal. So um, FFL and Friends for, Friends for Leadership have a role to play on, on this because um, as I said earlier, um, we are the future, we're the future leaders. We understand the global issues that are happening, uh, particularly concerning the economy. So it is a time that we go back to, 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 our, to the youngsters in our country and you know, trying to encourage them to get really into um, act productive economic activities particularly those in the agriculture sector. So really FFL is the, um, helps or has, um, has assisted us getting insights of, um, that we're going to use or encouraging people in our, in our particular countries.